Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to another video or another vlog. If you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Akusia Benhene. I have vlogs, I do vlogs, I do beauty videos, I do lifestyle content. <laughs> I'm sure you've, you've seen my channel and that's why you're here. So I just want to say that you're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking this video and watching. I hope that you stay. I hope that you subscribe, okay, and become a part of the family that we have here. But if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, hey girl, hey girl, hey boo, <laughs> what do you do, my love? What do you do? You're welcome back to a new week. It's Tuesday. It's currently 3.50 p.m. It's time for daycare pickup. I have to go and pick it from a part app. Um, in the next, next few minutes, I'm literally about to rush out of the house. I'm going to do that. Um, but it's been a good week. I have some PR. When we come back, we'll unbox that. But I just wanted to... Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Really? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to come on here and start off the vlog. Start off the week intro you guys into the week and then we can get on with the day okay let me put on some perfume so that we could go i've been loving this perfume by the way let me just see it's really nice very very nice but you guys let's go and pick up in Pramapa. i'm gonna go with my phone as usual um and then yeah we'll come back hey guys so i am back from daycare pickup I let's just do a quick random very random haul <laughs> I went through family dollar to pick up a few things and then um, I picked up some foam plates I honestly have been watching other family people's like lifestyle in this country and I see that a lot of people use paper plates I'm not even gonna lie because this will save you so much time washing the dishes and doing all of that is so annoying the main reason why I actually went was to pick up some shaving sticks. This um, comes in a pack of 10. I feel like this is honestly a save, if I'm being completely honest, because yeah, this for shaving is like really fast. I do have wax, but I haven't come to terms with like using a wax. I feel like it's so painful. I don't know how I'm going to get through it, so I'm still a shaving stick type of girl, okay? <laughs> I also picked up some sponges for doing the dishes this particular one i have never tried before it's meant to be a scrubber but it's kind of like tough so i'll try it out and let you know but this is this is also part of the main reasons why i went out and oh i picked up some dumplings we've tried this dumpling in the past from bibigo perfect um give me one second you guys i picked up some baby wipes and I was saying that these dumplings, we've tried them before in the past and it's really nice. I really like it, so I bought it again to try it out. And let me just go and grab the PR packages that I have. Just one PR package. I don't know who it's from. We'll see who that came from. Um, but I also have a new coffee maker, so we'll put that together in a little bit. But yeah, let's see what we have in PR because I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we have in PR and then we can do Amazon. So, oh, <laughs> we have PR from Shea Moisture. I've never received anything from them before, so this is a first. Oh, okay. So they sent over the new Shea Moisture deodorant. Apparently, I've seen this on Instagram. <clears throat> they have a new um, whole body deodorant stick and then a whole body deodorant cream i have definitely seen this on instagram i've seen a few girls talk about it and use it so definitely exciting this is what it looks like this i'm excited to try out because i haven't i've never tried a whole body deodorant cream and it's not just for your underarm you can also use it in between your thighs so if you have thick thighs you already know you already know i don't even have to say this if you have thighs that like or rub against each other when you're walking i feel like you would need something like this but also i haven't tried it out so i have to but coming from shea moisture I don't know i feel like they should know what they're doing you know um but it also has no aluminum it's plant-based i'm excited for all of that 
It smells like Shea Moisture stuff. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, it literally smells like Shea Moisture. Oh, that's so weird. And it's, it's like hydrating. Oh, this would be nice because this evening I'm doing a little bit of body care. So, this would be really nice. But yeah, thank you so much, Shea Moisture. Thank you for sending this my way. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and then we have a coffee maker here. I'm happy because this particular one is piped. Oh, my resistant resistance. <laughs> so I also got some resistance band. Um, this is for working out. So yeah. Hello. So you guys, it's from the brand called Me City. Me City. If you see that, let me take this out. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what she looks like. Also, the reason why I got this is because apparently it doesn't just make coffee, but you can make tea. So if you have like a tea bag, you can just like tear it out and put it inside and still get the vibe. Or if you have like herb tea, you can put it inside and still make it. So, okay, yay! Oh, this is so gorgeous, you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Isn't this beautiful? What? This is so simple, but also so pretty. And this is a coffee cup, so. Oh, this is so gorgeous. So, there we have it. Let me quickly set this up, clean it up, and set it up. And then we can get into it. The cable, it's hitting. <laughs> yeah. You have a way to hide the pretty cable in the back so that you know there look at that that's it let me again let me just quickly set it up and then we can test it out and see the vibes that she's giving okay You guys, I have literally gone down the road of <laughs> scrolling through TikTok the whole time. I've been on TikTok for like the last, literally like the last 10 minutes just standing here. Anyway, I'm about to do some self-care, skincare type of situation. Um, I do have to do a few things, shave my face, shave my armpits. <laughs> I don't know what that is about, um, but I have to do some girl girl care. You guys already know. Yeah, you already know. So that's what I'm about to do. So let's get into that. Um, I'm thinking to just like put some music and do that. You know, I don't know. My mind is always changing at every time. So let me grab my stuff that I need and then set them up so we can go. Okay. Hey Google, please play some soul music. Bye. 
Okay guys, so I feel amazing. Let me just say that. I feel really cleaned. I did the whole nine years, shaved my armpits, did you know, did everything, everything. Um, but I'm out of the shower. I just want to say that I'm currently on my second bottle of Dermatica. This one is finished. She gotta go. This is the new one. So that's what I'm using right now. And also I put in my hair treatment and everything. You guys already so the whole thing um, i feel really good i just want to say that i feel really clean i feel so good i wanted to say something to you guys but i feel like i'm forgetting oh i wanted to say that this is a reminder to care for yourself okay find a day and just do some self-care you don't have to be able to afford like crazy types of like skincare products to give yourself the treatment that i gave me i gave myself you guys literally saw what i did i shaved with a basic ass shaving stick to do my facial I, I did some face mask you know it was just the most basic stuff with the products that i already have at home so i didn't go out to like buy crazy things just because i wanted to care for myself i just want to say that you can care for yourself without spending so much um, and keep it in mind you're very important you as a person you're very important so the way and the approach in which you go through to show yourself love means a lot okay so if you're waiting to be able to afford the most expensive things before you show yourself some sort of self-care then that's questionable that's just all i'm saying that is questionable you want to be able to still show yourself love without you know feeling like oh i had to spend tons of money eventually when we get there and we're able to spend um, um like a good amount of money just for self-care we will but now that we cannot afford that whole luxury outside self-care booking appointments and here and there we're gonna do it at home but we're still going to care for ourselves that's just all i'm saying so i hope this is a reminder that you care for yourself so yeah <laughs> i'm done i'm just basically gonna go chill chit chat with my husband for a little you guys already know we always do that before we go to bed so we'll do that and then um call it a night i will see you guys tomorrow okay oh uh, it's so cold outside like i do not know what is going on but it's chilly again and oh my neighbor my neighbor let her dog outside <laughs> i don't know if she's gonna be watching this vlog but if she does <laughs> Frank was outside, okay? Your little boy was outside. Um, and, you know, he usually gets a little funny when he sees me because he doesn't really know me. Uh, but I put him in his place as I would as an African girl, okay? Because, <laughs> like, you guys, people's dogs, sometimes they be really acting crazy if they don't know you. Which is okay, I understand. You don't know me, but don't act crazy. <laughs> Cause you're not about to attack me <laughs> it's never happening <laughs> it's not happening i will use the last thing in me to survive <laughs> that's just all i can say anyway happy wednesday you guys let me it was really cold all day yeah but let me take off this jacket give me once again okay Rafaina, how are you but god these toddlers <laughs> come on she's sitting on the wash it mommy no 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 <laughs> no 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 my love let's go yeah so let's go and sit down uh, i feel like i'm tired of using my long tripod if i'm being completely honest um i'm gonna look for my shots tripod my shots vlogging tripod because i've been vlogging on the long tripod for like a good three months and I'm, i feel like i want to switch it up just a little and um, hi good evening how are you doing <laughs> not me coming on with a good evening but this is the Ghana girl in me talking like literally good evening <laughs> how are you doing i hope you're doing well it's wednesday it's currently 5 p.m literally 5 p.m um i have a few things from amazon so we'll get into that but i'm making dinner honestly there's not so much going on i having i filmed this after work today uh, i filmed this look such a basic underpainting makeup look which will be on um youtube very soon so you guys will see that i'm coming back i just want to say that i am coming back with beauty tutorials again um i started out as a makeup tutorial girly on insta on youtube if you didn't know i used to not do so much vlogs i was only doing like makeup videos and whatnot i think i was doing vlogs here and there honestly um but now 
I've been doing solely vlogs and I feel like I want to, you know, mix it up a little. So you guys will definitely see some beauty content. Plus, I feel like you guys need my tutorials. What I might say? Like, why have I been depriving you of my tutorials? Because I have some of the best tips and tricks when it comes to makeup. My looks 100% out of the times are always, almost always flawless, if I do say so myself. I have, I feel like I mastered the act of doing your makeup because I've been doing it at this time for close to like eight to ten, eight to eight to nine years because my mom passed like eight years ago and that's around that time that I started doing makeup seriously. So I've been doing it for a while, okay? So I have all the tips. Yes, my love. Yes, sugar. Yes, baby. I know. I know, I know, ma. I know. I gotta talk to the people. Gotta talk to the little people, yeah. Yes. So, yes, I've been doing it for a while. So, I've picked up a lot of tips and tricks along the way, you know, left some off and then relearn some if it even makes sense but i have been able to accumulate a lot of tips and tricks up my sleeve over the past few years so be sure to check out my tutorials when they come out okay um but i'm cooking we're cooking beans and plantain tonight so yeah but let's see what we have from amazon nothing serious honestly i have some shoes that i want to show you because it's spring i feel like you guys will really like something simple so let me show you what we have okay we have some spring summer sandals i don't think i have anything in white oh my god that's chaotic but i don't think i have any shoes in white because i've always felt like why would i take white shoes like what's the point but when i saw these like these these are just basic strappy sandals um junky i like that I want to show you the way the straps will sit when you put them on. That's what they look like, okay? They're very basic, but I feel like you can also do so much with this. Like, you can do um, a nice cocktail dress with that. You can do shorts and top. You can do jeans. Like, you can do so much with this. Um, and also, because it's white, you really don't need to do much. You can do nude. You can do black and decide to still throw it there. You can make it work i really like this and it comes with, it definitely comes in a few different colors if you're shopping on amazon or if you're gonna be shopping with my link okay okay um you can pick black or whatever you want i felt like black would look a little too basic honestly <laughs> like black for me would have been a little too basic and it would have been like an everyday sandal but white i can definitely make it look like it's not an everyday sandal but you can also make it everyday so i really like it and that's what it is um my shoes are usually in a size seven if you're wondering um but yeah i also got some ring adjusters this is what it looks like right so my ring this is my ring right and let me just say i have quite a number of rings engagement rings um my actual engagement ring is there and then i have different ones that I've just gotten over time from Amazon that I wear as and when I feel like I do have some really like extravagant ones like really out there in your face type of rings but they're big and I want to resize them um, but I was thinking of taking them to the jewelers jewelers yeah jewelers I think that's the word <laughs> um, but I also saw this on Amazon and I'm like then let me just try it out because apparently you can use this to resize your ring and just like make it tighter so you don't have to go and see an actual jeweler to do that for you so i'm gonna try this out and let you guys know if it actually works i also got some waist beads so you guys have seen the beads that i have around my i call them belly beads they're actually not waist beads because in all honesty i don't like waist beads um but as an african girl that's how we were brought up like we're about to have to put on waist beads but i've never really fancied them and i still don't when i started losing weight however i because when i was in high school i came across the whole idea of putting beads on your tummy um as like a form of tummy control so if <laughs> yes mama <laughs> so as a form of tummy control right so if 
the beads are getting tighter around your belly it means that your oh. belly is becoming big or it means that your tummy has gotten big and if the beads are nice and still loose and moving around then it means that you're still in shape and it has always worked for me when i started losing weight my beads were literally under my boobs and then when i lost weight they have now fallen all the way down to my waist and that's how come i have had to order another one because i don't like them on my waist i like them on my belly <laughs> so i'm gonna try this out and just in case anyone because I, I i feel like a lot of people i think that a few girls also do it but most girls definitely do waist beads than belly beads but i am like belly beads type of girl like i would have beads on my belly that's literally my bag okay so i would do this tonight i'm excited to switch the one that i have out because it's so old and i'm happy to change it out but you guys let's get into cooking i'm gonna see cooking ellie today because i want to have a smooth night tomorrow's daycare i don't want to rush into the night and like go to bed exhausted plus i also watched i'm not gonna lie low key i watched this lady on tiktok and she was talking about how she's a mom of three and how she's changed her nighttime routine or evening routine just by cooking ellie she starts making dinner at 2 p.m or 3 p.m which sounds crazy because you're like well the kids will be hungry again but how she explained it and how she did the whole day was so cool it made so so much sense she cooks the dinner they have the dinner and then they have snack in the evening like later in the evening and mind you she cooking the dinner and everything putting it together will obviously take a few hours so they will start eating dinner at like three four ish and then um, at like 6, 7, they eat their ice creams, their snacks. And kids are kids. By 8, 9, they're going to bed. And she has an early night. She has all the time to herself. It sounded so sensible. Like, when she did it, it made so much sense. I'm like, you know what, girl? I'm going to steal that idea, okay? If it works, if it's something that is going to help, take it. If it's something that is going to give you improvement, productivity, take it, okay? That's how I like social media. I like for it to influence me in the right direction. But let's get into cooking so that we can wrap this up and then I can um, say good night and go to bed, okay? <music> This is dinner for me, plantain with some beans. Honestly, my beans too is looking a little dry, if I'm being completely honest. This looks a little dry, but this is all I'm having. I thought I had avocado. Let me check. Look at that. <laughs> I have one last avocado. Okay, so I added some avocado, but this is dinner, honestly. I'm gonna go enjoy this and have some conversations with my husband as per usual. <laughs> hey guys, I'm out of work. Let me turn the camera around here because I feel like the lighting in this corner is much better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I really feel a certain type of way. So I'm battling with the idea of. Um, that, oh i put on this pink outfit again because you guys liked it i'm not gonna lie that's the one reason why i put it on today i saw it in my closet i'm like i'm gonna put this on it, it's a set okay it comes in a top and pants oh yeah <laughs> so it's a two-piece set from amazon i would leave a link it's already linked to my storefront so if you are interested you can always check it out um, but I'm down today because I've honestly been thinking, um, what's in my mouth, God? So I've been thinking of the idea for a while, actually. Been thinking of deleting my Instagram. Not even deleting my Instagram, just starting a whole new Instagram page. Starting on like a fresh page. Because my Instagram is just going through a lot that's just the tone and shot you would post content and your followers are like this like your followers are five thousand, and you post content and the likes that you're getting are at around like a hundred or it's not making any sense 
Um, and that is not even the Instagram algorithm doing anything. Trust me. That is your own page because you have a bunch of ghost followers and ghost accounts sitting there and they're not doing anything. So I try to go through my followers and like just unfollow people and try to clean it up. Um, but I think my page is still going through the same thing. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like my page is still going through it. So I've made the very tough decision. Like I've been so down today um, because I made a decision that, you know what, I'm going to delete this Instagram and start all over again. Honestly, it gives me, it feels like a fresh start for me. <laughs> I feel like, no, oh, give me one second. It feels like a fresh start for me. Honestly, for me, it feels like, like I'm like I'm about to start life, literally. <laughs> and um, my Instagram means a lot to me. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it's such a tough decision for me to come in two terms with, but I think I'm gonna do that. I think I've decided that I'm going to do that. So I've opened up a whole new Instagram. I'm um, sort of like prepped it, ready to go, just in case I like I want to do it because I have decided that I want to. Um, but knowing me, I know that I can also. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. I apologize, guys. That was my family back home. We basically talk every day. Okay, if you're an immigrant, then you probably can relate. Um, but that's how we keep up thanks to social media. Now you can keep up with your family every single day. I'm about to drink some puppy. This is my second meal of the day or the snack. Snack? Yeah. I'm not really a snack girly. Um, but this is what I'm going to have because... I'm thirsty and I want something nice chilly down my tr my throat um, but like I was saying you guys I have created a new Instagram I think I'm gonna go forward with the whole idea of pushing out um, a whole new page and everything so I'm gonna put it out there I'm gonna for the next few vlogs I'm going to make noise about it okay follow my content on there it's basically same as here sort of lifestyle but mostly beauty content I'm not gonna lie mostly makeup skincare and stuff like that i'm definitely a beauty girly at heart so that has been my core content for the past years and i intend to keep doing that i intend to be true to myself and so i'm obviously not going to be creating some crazy content that you've never seen before still me but just a new page new fresh new stats okay um so i'd love to see you guys on there please be sure to follow me on my new instagram and um, but yeah that's that is the thoughts that I've had on my mind pretty much all day. My husband and I were even talking about it. Ooh. <clears throat> Who else drinks like that? Like the first, the first sip is not an actual sip. For the first thing for me has to be a gulp. And I used to do that with sodas. When I like used to drink crazy soda back in the day, I would do that. I like gulp down a lot and then it would just burn my throat i don't know it's such a weird feeling it's uncomfortable but it also feels good like it's so weird i'm so sorry <laughs> anyway you guys um out of work i'm about to take off these nails i think it's time for them to go i'm low-key feeling like i should do nude for my next set because if it's not red it's nude i really don't like any other color on my nails it's like I can't stand it <laughs> at this point in my life I really can't so um, I think I might go for nude but I'm about to sit down dissolve my nails and just chill daycare pickup is in an hour 35 minutes so I have an hour 35 minutes to do this and I'm just chill but there's a lot on my mind I'm not even gonna lie like there is a lot on my mind adulting is crazy okay I want to get out of customer service I think I've said that before I really I'm tired of this job I'm looking for a new job actively heavily looking for a new one looking for a new stream of income and i'm that type of girl i i certainly love me a good stable income okay i guess that's why i still do nine to five because i love a good stable income i love to know that money is coming in without me having to like worry about the when and the how i just know that i have stable income so that's why I am, I guess I'm going to keep working until I can afford to not work again. Okay? <laughs> well, I'm going to keep doing that. So, yeah, but I do have a lot of my mind. It's definitely that, like, adulting thinking, you know. But, yeah, I'm just going to chill and stop talking because there's no point. <laughs> Hi, guys. Happy Friday. 
Who? You guys are catching me in the car today. Ugh. I am going to pick up the Ramapa from daycare. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I, that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to pick up the Ramapa from daycare. Um, and then yeah, we'll just come back home. It's Friday, you guys. I literally just woke up from a nap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disoriented. Okay, but let's do some cat jumps and go and do pickup. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's not too much, too much, cause girl and I'm with you, I hear it, my heart sing, la 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 la. <laughs> you guys, this is the meal set that I did last night, okay? I went with a classic nude, like this is what I'm talking about. It should either be this or red, nothing else, okay? I, like, this is what I was saying to myself, there's no in between for me, like it's either red or nude like i don't want in between like that's literally my personality anyway i just got back from daycare pickup i feel like i'm getting a little more confident way on the road drives um i'm definitely looking to do more highway um you know lessons at this point i feel like the neighborhood i'm a little comfortable you know i'm still battling with my curse here and there but we'll get there we'll get there eventually by june we can have our license and say yes we're a big girl driver now but um it's almost 5 p.m but yeah i'm gonna get into making dinner let me pour myself a glass of wine because it's friday oh okay. it's okay it's okay i'm trying a new wine today i will show you in a second but i'm excited and um, let me get things together and then i'll see you in a second okay okay so this is the wine that I'm trying today. It's a Riesling. Apparently, it's called Riesling, and then the name is Relax. I've heard about Rieslings before and how good they are, but also I have wine that I already like. You guys know it's the same color, um, but it's a different brand, and that's sweet. I usually like sweet wine. It should be sweet that's just my baseline okay like it has to be sweet <laughs> but apparently real wine isn't exactly sweet not like real wine per se like good wine let me say that good wine isn't exactly sweet so my husband got me this today um, so I'm gonna try it out to see if I like it um, yeah he said that a guy at the store said that it's nice so hopefully Hopefully we like it. <laughs> yeah. I never know how to open these things. Like my thumb action is so weak. Like like what? I, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm gonna go give it to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try this out. Let me smell it. Okay, it smells like, okay, it smells like the wine that I usually drink, so I like that, but I'm scared of the taste. <laughs> I hope it doesn't taste like a Jackie wine, because Jackie, the type of wine that she drinks, girl, you know, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I still have Jackie's wine from last year in my fridge, because I can't drink it. Why? Like, why is your wine not sweet? I don't know. Goodness. Let me taste. Mmm. Okay. Okay. It's not so bad. <laughs> it's really. Oh, I see what they're talking about. I see what they mean. <laughs> I see what they mean. It's not so bad. It is not so bad. It's medium sweet. That's what it says on the bottle, and that's what it actually is. 
We could actually be used to that by now. She's a big baby. <laughs> Yeah, it's not dry. And that's my thing. I can't take wine that's dry. This makes a lot more sense to me. I'm not saying that dry wine doesn't make sense. I mean, at least to me, it doesn't. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't. Uh, because why? <laughs> I'm drinking wine to feel good. For me, wine should be like a feel good something. Um, and feel good for me means taste sweet or spicy. Like, I don't like dry, okay? So this is perfect. If you also don't like dry wine, like myself, try Riesling. This particular one says relax Riesling. So I like it's smooth, very smooth. You can definitely taste a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet and it's not dry. It's nowhere near dry. So you, I think if you don't like dry wine, you like this. It's not sweet, but it's not dry. It's like right in between, it's perfect. Oh, I really like this. It's definitely the type of wine that you cannot finish in a day. Depending on what you like, I definitely cannot finish that. My original wine, I can finish the whole bottle in a day. Mm -hmm. Like, it's that sweet. Uh, but this one, you can, you know, pour yourself a glass, chill. It gives you that feeling of like, I'm actually drinking wine. It makes sense. I guess it makes sense why like they say sweet wine tastes like juice and it's not actually wine. <laughs> I feel like I understand what you're saying now yeah I do <laughs> okay so I'm gonna get back to cooking I'm cooking I'm gonna play some music oh my god you guys I recently just came across O'Malley's song called Holy Ghost Fire and I'm like I mean I've, I haven't recently come across it I've heard it a few times from like different places but then Sharon my friend in Ghana if you don't know she's actually my sister Sharon's not even my friend friend she's like my sister she told me about the song she was singing the song again i'm like oh i like that song and she's like oh omali sang the song so now i'm hooked to that song okay i'm hooked i love it so much let me let me play right now holy ghost fire the counter sana build my confidence <laughs> my sadaria my cocaina my daughter, I don't mind it. Whatever she does, mommy's gonna have fun. Yeah, I love the song. I love it. Holy Ghost Fire. Boost my confidence. Who remembers this song? Like, who remember? I'm sure everybody does, but like, what? You better change your mind. You're going home. Girl, caress my body. You've got me going crazy. Turn me on, turn me on. Okay, guys, so this is dinner. I managed to make some tacos. Um, I can't wait to dig into this because I know that it will taste good. But yeah, this is very basic. But this is my dinner for tonight. When they say she get it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right. Your body do this bump like a dummy in the hall, but come tell me is you down? Cause I'm trying to go good tonight. All the hope she's left and right. I just wanna put it in.